a Netflix original film. The Wi-Fi is working. In the event of a global communications breakdown, do the following. Stay inside. What just happened here is happening everywhere. Avoid strangers. We've all been deserted. I don't trust them. And most importantly, do not panic. Julia Roberts. What happens next? Mahershala Ali. I knew something was coming. Leave the world behind. Rated R. Now playing only on Netflix. Today on CityCast Philly, are you still unsure what to get your loved one for the holidays? We got you. Today's episode is a last minute gift guide to some of the best Philly based experiences from cheese tastings to circus classes. You know, gifts that won't expire or take up too much room in the closet. It's Thursday, December 14th. I'm Trini Nuri, and here's what Philly's talking about. Joining me is Maddie Schweitzer LeMay, creator of Tiny Table Tours. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk presents. Yes. And we have our own CityCast Philly producer, Abby Fritz. Hey, Abby. Hey, Trinette. It's great to be back. Abby also has great recommendations. We did an amazing episode earlier this month about fun things to do in December in the city. So I'm really excited about all of your ideas. But first, I got to ask y'all, do you like holiday shopping? I will go first. I love holiday shopping. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of a sucker, I think. Um, I really love the experience of like trying to pick out something that people are going to love that's going to really thrill them. But I think I have the advantage of not having to shop for a million people. So (laughs) my family keeps it pretty like um, intimate at Christmas time. Um, Abby, how about for you? Do you like holiday shopping? Oh, man, I do love giving a gift. I think similar to Maddie, especially like people I really care about and really know well, I love giving people something that they didn't know was exactly what they wanted. But I am. I'm like that one aunt who always gives like a letter. I like love writing letters, too. So all of my little gifts usually come with a letter as well. I love I love the, the sentimental touches. Yeah, I love that. Listen. I get everyone the same thing, and it's candles. <laughs> is it is it always the same candle? It's a candle from TJ Maxx. So, like, whatever's <laughs> on the shelf, it's going to be okay. that. But I, you know what? I need to listen to your recommendations because picking out candles can be tricky because people have different, like, smell mm-hmm. sensitivities. So mm-hmm. help me out. I need some good recommendations for Philly-based experience gifts. Maddie, let's start with you. You have some ideas for cooking classes? Yeah. So my background is sort of in in food. So I do a lot of gift guides this time of year about food-related presents. um, But I feel like experiences, doing things in person with people that you love, it's nice, you know? Um, There are two cooking classes that I love in Philly. Um, Janine Bruno runs a sort of cooking school experience, um, called pasta with Bruno and she does pasta classes. Um, she does cookie classes. She does all kinds of sort of like Italian-y things. Janine's shop is on 15th street, um, just off Wharton. Um, so it's in new bold. Um, you can drink, you can do like a big group. You can do just like you and another person with a general group. And the the tickets like range and price depending on what the experience is. So I feel like that's a fun thing. Like if you have someone in your life who you like went on a trip with to Italy, potentially that would be very luxurious as a gift, but also (laughs) someone who like is into that or just loves pasta. I think um, her classes are a great option for someone who's more into baking. um, High street bakery does cooking classes as well. So some of those, they range from very beginner classes to more sort of like expert level classes, Mm -hmm. things like cake decorating, bread baking, cake baking, cookies, all kinds of stuff. So that's really fun for someone who is like a more dedicated home baker. High Street is in Washington Square West. So also like pretty easy to get to. Love that. Yeah. Abby, if I'm looking for a gift idea for someone who likes physical activities, you know, fitness, where should I look? 
There are so many options of like fitness classes, yoga, you know, Pilates, like anything you can think of. And I really wanted to kind of dig deep and find something interesting that would sparkle a little, you know, for for people this time of year. And something that I found that looks so fun is at the Philadelphia School of Circus Arts, which is in Mount Airy on the border of Germantown. And they have so many class options like People can take a aerial silks class, which is like if you've ever seen people hanging from the ceiling and like spinning around on those beautiful silks. There's pole dancing classes. There's acrobatics. There's literally anything you can think of. And they have classes ranging from intro all the way to advanced. So, hey, if you already have an acrobat in your life, bonus points. If not, you know, they can take the intro class. And I liked this, too, because the classes are so affordable. It's $25 to go to these classes. You have to get out to Mount Airy if you're not around there. But like, that's incredible. Or if you want to allow someone to maybe go a couple times, you can do a five pack for $120 or a 10 pack for $200. Lots of good stuff. I think if I got that in my stocking, a gift card to a acrobatic pole dancing silk class, <laughs> I would be pretty happy. It would be so jarring and surprising and exciting. Yeah. Like, why not? Let's let's all go to circus school together. That would be fun. Yeah. And then another thing that came up that I thought was kind of a cool take on getting out and doing something physical was in Cowlow Hill. They have Callow Hill Archery. And you can go and take a little class that teaches you how to shoot a bow and arrow, which is very like, would have because you need that. Yeah, why not? (laughs) I mean, who knew you needed to know how to shoot a bow and arrow in the middle of Philadelphia? Why not? There's the urban archer is the um, fundamentals class. So it kind of just teaches you like safety and like basic shooting techniques and things like that. It's $65 for the course and for all the equipment to go and do it. Um, So that's pretty cool. I love this. This would be like a really cool new skill you can pick up for the new year. Yeah. Yeah. Archery. Why not? I don't know. Like like, (laughs) a new archery. (laughs) Guys, I don't even know how to bring the next one up because I don't think there's a category for it. It is probably like the most bonkers suggestion I've ever made. In my life, but also I know exactly who I'd get this gift for. And I feel like once you hear it, you also, if there is a person in your life who needs this gift, you'll know immediately after I say it. Okay, Um, anxious. (laughs) So it's a goat visit. You can... You said goat as in G-O-A-T? Yes, as in a live goat. So there is an organization called the Philly Goat Project. And basically they just want to bring the joy of goats to people in the city and that, you know, in the form of you can have these, this goat come to you, you can go to the goat on their farm. Um, And, you know, the farm is located at the Aubrey Arboretum. It's at 6336 Ardley street. Yeah. Um, And you get to go hang out with these goats. They're so cute. They have like little profiles of all of them on the website. I mean, like, you have to go see Kiyoshi. Like, there's no option. Bibito, like Clementine, come on. You, you, you know you have someone who wants to hang out with some goats. So, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Who are you going to give this gift to? I hope I they're not listening. <laughs> um, my brother is really obsessed with goats. Like, every year he gets a goat calendar. Like, that's usually what I get him for Christmas. So this year, when he comes to visit me in Philly, I'm I'm going to give him the goat visit so we can go hang out with the goats. And that's the Christmas gift for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they also have goat calendars available at the Philly Goat Project as well. So of that's another option if you can't commit to the whole goat visit. But it's pretty cool if they can make the trek up there, 60 minutes at $90 for two people. Not crazy. Um, If you want to bring more than two people, it's $30 for every additional person. And you can do up to 20 people for a visit. Um, And if you want 30 minutes, it's only $50, you know, and then you can go hang out in Germantown afterwards, get a coffee. I mean, it's a great day just to hang out with a goat and then then go about your merry way. I think it's a great Christmas gift. 
I feel like that's such a good gift for someone who's like had a tough year mm. and you're just like, you just need to like giggle yeah. and be with some small animals. Exactly, exactly. And they and they like specifically pick all the goats. Like one, all the goats are either siblings or cousins. And um, it's a family. It's, it's a family. And they're all like <laughs> bred specifically to be like, like goats that are into hanging out with people. So like they want to <laughs> hang out with you. <laughs> what that means i have no idea what that means but they're like yeah uh, they're like amicable or whatever they like won't like spit at you or something like they're they, oh they want to be around you we've got more creative experience gift ideas after the break this is city cast philly abby you've found some really creative experiences in philly Do you have any recommendations for folks who love arts and crafts? Oh, yeah, definitely. There's a ton of fun little arts and crafts things to do in Philly. Um, One of the first things that comes to mind for me is Yay Clay. It's really cool. It's an intro to wheel throwing class that's targeted at couples or maybe like two friends. And um, you learn how to do wheel throwing and you can make a little creation Um, You get to choose what you want to make. You can make a vase. You can make a mug. You can make a blob that's artistic. You know, it's it's literally whatever you want. It's a two hour long session. They they have all of the tools you need. They have all the glazes, the colors. They'll give you one on one instruction. And it's one hundred and fifty to one hundred and eighty dollars. If you look up their Instagram it's so cute. They have two different room options even. So they have the retro room, which they have like a little arcade and a bar top and like you oh, get to hang. Cute. It's really cute. Then they also have the green room, which has like a bunch of plants and stuff. So it's it's totally what you want it to be. And I think if there's like a couple in your life that, you know, want to go out on a date, this is a great option. You can just get them this gift certificate. Or if you want to go with someone and you can be like, hey, I got you this gift certificate. We should go together. Like, take me. (laughs) That's also an option, too. (laughs) And it's located in Kensington near the border of Port Richmond. And then the other the other thing I found, which I was thinking of this for like I have some really crafty friends or like my mom who just like always needs a new project. Just people who like constantly want to be learning and doing new things. Butcher's Sew Shop at 800 South 8th Street. They have a ton of sewing classes that range from like total beginner to pro They have like a one day embroidery class or they have like a six week quilting program. So you can really like dive into whatever type of sewing they want. One that looked really interesting to me was like making loungewear. Oh, that's so cute. It is. And the classes like I would personally probably get the gift card because then the person can pick like, you know, oh, what days do I want to go? What works in my schedule? How intense? They range from like a $39 class, I think was the cheapest one I saw, all the way up to like $375, which would be like the quilt making class. But some of the more basic one day in person ones were generally around $85. So if that's kind of what you think your your person you're giving to is going for, you can do that. I think there was a beanie workshop at that price and the embroidery class. But yeah, I think I think that that's, you know, all the crafty people in your life are set. What I love about these recommendations is like once you kind of have this experience, you can really build off a new hobby Mm -hmm. and have something fun to do throughout the year. Okay, Maddie, any other creative ideas for the foodies in our lives? Okay, so I have a couple. Um, Anyone who likes to drink, I feel like this time of year. (laughs) I know a lot of people that like to drink. Yeah, totally. (laughs) Yeah. So if if there's someone in your life who's into wine in particular, there are two different ideas that I have. The first one is that um, Le Caveau, which is the kind of bar above the Good King Tavern just off of South Street. Um, Every month they do a study group, which is a like kind of small group wine experience. Um, They're usually priced between $65 and $85. You get to taste through four wines on a certain theme. So like this month, the theme is sparkling wine. Last month, it was focused on a specific grape. 
Um, so you taste through four different wines with like a small group of people and a sommelier from their staff. You get to eat some snacks. So it's sort of fun. It's interactive, like learn a little bit. Yeah. Um, but definitely also fun as like a date night or if there's someone in your life who has recently moved to Philly and is maybe like mm. looking to meet some people, I think a gift certificate to like have and like a reservation for one of their study groups would be a really nice present. That's a great idea. Thank you. My other wine related idea is a membership to Mural City Cellars um, Wine Club. A Ooh. membership. What does a membership include? <laughs> It includes wine. Lots of wine. There you go. Hey. (laughs) So so Mural City Cellars is in Fishtown. Um, The people who run it, they make wine in Philly. So it's an urban winery. They buy all of the grapes from within a 300-mile radius of the city. Um, And then the wine is made in the city. And they do really, really small releases. So um, becoming a member of the wine club um, gets you access to, like, really limited drops. So... um, Every quarter, so four times a year, you get three bottles of wine. Um, So March, June, September, and December. It costs $75 a quarter. So you could gift one quarter or you could gift like the whole year if you wanted to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. You get wine four times, three (laughs) bottles. You're like, I understand. And it's like per season. So I feel like that's another way to kind of usher in the new seasons. And I love Mm -hmm. that the grapes are locally produced. Yeah. It's really fun wine. They do a lot of like pet nats, which are sparkling. Um, They do some great white wines. I feel like it's a good mix typically of Um, Wines that will be familiar to you versus something that might be a little bit newer. Well, Maddie, a lot of wine goes with cheese. So (laughs) do you have any recommendations for like cheese gifts? Yes. Thank you for asking. So the Philly Cheese School is just north of the Italian market. It's this like really sweet little space owned by Julia Birnbaum, who hosts these really fun, informative cheese classes. She does all kinds of things. She does wine and cheese pairings, of course. She also does beer and cheese pairings. They do like the she'll do classes where she focuses in on a specific region or like a specific type of milk. So like Mm. goat milk, maybe for the person who is also receiving Mm. a visit to the um, Philly Goat Project. So it, that's like a really fun way to do something delicious. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think they're doing like a cheese and potato chip pairing class, which sounds like Ooh. heaven to me. Absolutely. What could, I mean, literally nothing could be better. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, Maddie and Abby, you've both gave some really great recommendations. But if I really don't know what to give someone who maybe, you know, just that that person in our lives that is just extremely hard to mm. shop for. Mm-hmm. What's something that's kind of like a universal gift, a gift that would satisfy anyone? Abby, let's start with you. The gift that comes to mind for me is that like everybody loves a good movie. You can't go wrong with a movie. But I think if you want to take it a step further, other than just getting like, you know, a gift card, which you totally can. There's tons of great theaters in Philly. And if someone in your life has a favorite, you could just grab grab a gift card from there. But specifically, Landmark Ritz 5 and Landmark Theaters in general have this really cool deal where you can buy a film ticket book. And basically, it's like a pack of 25 tickets sold in bulk at a discounted price. So instead of like the usual like 13-ish dollars, I would say, for a movie, you get all of these tickets at $9 each, which oh, comes... That's a good deal. It's a great deal. And it comes out to $225 in all. And you get this really cute little ticket book where you can like rip off the tickets and give them out. Or maybe you want to give all 25 to one person. That's an option too. And that's a great gift, you know? And then... I love movies. So if I don't give all of them away, it's a little gift for me, too, at a discounted price. So never a cent wasted if you do this. Yeah, I feel like that's really budget friendly, too, because yes. you can do a lot with that two twenty five. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's it's great. There's a landmark theater here in Philly. It's at 214 Walnut Street in Old City. Um, and they have a lot of really great screenings. The the film tickets are valid for any showing for the most part, other than ones designated as special engagements. And if you want to see a 3D film, you do have to pay $3 extra. But 
other than that, you can use them at any landmark theater in the country and definitely here in Philly as well. So pretty cool. Cool. Maddie, any gift ideas that anyone can use? Mine is if you happen to be an an organized person giving to someone who is perhaps less organized than you. Um, I think going out of your way to make a reservation um, for that person at a restaurant that is kind of hard to get into. So Mm. I'm thinking of places like um, Mailu or Her Place, which are both in Center City. I'm thinking of Elada, which is in Graduate Hospital, Mm. kind of at the west end of South Street. Um, some of these places, the reservations go up like a certain time and then they fill up really fast. So, you know, going out of your way to sort of like track that set a timer and then get that reservation. I think that paired with a gift card to that restaurant, even if it's just a gift card for like 25 or $30, it doesn't have to be a lot. I think just like giving someone the gift of doing a task for them can Mm -hmm. be really nice. Um, so if you have a person in your life who is like probably never going to get their life together to like set that timer and go and make the reservation. I think that's a really, really nice present. It's so true. I would love this gift so much. (laughs) And then a personal plug is that I do run a company called Tiny Table Tours and I have gift cards available right now that will be usable forever. So I give really small group tours of South Philly and the Italian market. They run from 11 a.m. to about two o'clock every Saturday and Sunday. So that's a really fun gift for someone who's maybe new to the city, um, someone who might come visit you in Philly later this year and wants to learn a little bit more about the food scene. I am doing a lot of like fun sort of like seasonal things too. So if that is interesting to you as like a January or February gift, something that could be like a bright spot in the dark season, um, I have to plug that Tiny Table Tours gift cards are available as well. I love that. And we'll have more information on that in our show notes. All right. That was Maddie Schweitzer LeMay, creator of Tiny Table Tours and our very own CityCast Philly producer, Abby Fritz. Thank you both so much for all of these gift recommendations. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for having me back on today. That's all for today here on CityCast Philly. If you enjoyed this episode about Philly-based experience gift ideas, tell a friend or get one for that friend. Rate the show, leave us a review, and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to sign up for our morning newsletter, Hey Philly, to learn more about what else Philly's talking about. We'll be back tomorrow morning with the Friday News Roundup. Bye. I'm literally on the Philly Circus School website. Like, should I take a trapeze class? You should.